Would you ever expect the 2011 dimes to be worth money? Good money? Well, they're worth hundreds. And since they are newer dimes, you can easily find them. We will talk about them right after this. Hey YouTubers, this is JNB, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency, we have new videos every day, and we're here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or find that one valuable coin that can change your life. In this video, we will talk about newer dimes worth money dimes you should know about and look for. It is very exciting how much some newer dimes are selling for, and we will of course explain why. The 2011 dimes were struck in Philadelphia and Denver and San Francisco mints. Philadelphia and Denver mints struck over about 700 million coins each. Not a large number. Not as low as 2009, but considerably low. But in both mints, they struck them in poor condition. Now because of mintage and overall low quality of dimes struck that year, they are bringing really good money. Dimes struck with full band or full torch designation are bringing really good money. FB is the designation assigned by PCGS, while FT is by NGC. In many of our videos, we repeat the definition of the FB and FT designation. In this video, we won't, but we will link a video about coin designation in the end of this one. So, let's give you the values of the most recent sold dime. This 2011 Denver Roosevelt dime graded by PCGS at MS68 FB sold recently at auction for $995. The Roosevelt dime from the Philadelphia Mint, the coin you see in this picture, is also graded MS68 full band by PCGS and it sold recently for $1,299. It's an extremely nice profit for a newer penny. And we know that some will say it's normal for coins in high grades, but not entirely. It is obvious that coins in higher grade will sell for more, but not necessarily for as much as other coins sell. For example, this 2014 D dime in the same grade MS68 FB sold recently at auction for only $253. The 2014 P dime in the same grade sold for only $299. So it does really matter which years you need to look for. It makes a huge difference. And that is why we're making these types of videos. An exciting fact is that newer coins are still available if you want to devote some time and look for them. As for coins struck at the San Francisco Mint, they struck proof coins in clad and silver composition. And they struck them in very good condition. Very typical for proof coins. But what's not typical is the silver coin is selling for less than the clad. And speaking of proof finishes, the same video we will link at the end of this one will have an explanation about coin finishes, designations, etc. So, just to give you their prices, this coin is a silver proof dime graded proof 70 decamp, the highest possible grade. 
and it sold in July of this year for $12.50 only. The next coin is a Proof 70 Decam Clad Dime in the same grade, Proof 70 Decam. And it sold also in July of this year for $23.50. Not a lot as well, but higher than the silver coin. Let us know in the comment section below if you collect newer dimes. Dimes, especially newer dimes, in our opinion, are very much overlooked and not getting as much attention as they should. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.